Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Innovations. Innovations can help maintain sustainability in industry. Innovation is a brand new set of ideas that meet new requirements, articulated needs, and existing market needs. The fact that innovation has already become a parcel of our life is not a surprise anymore. Innovation have indeed contributed a lot in our industry, ranging from brand new innovative technologies and new scientific discovery that turned the industry across the world upside down. Innovation have fostered competitive advantage as it allows you to create new product that exceed people's imagination. So, the question at hand, what does exactly innovation have contributed in our industry? If we look deeper, we'll find a different meaning of empowering innovation, wherein transforming process of innovation, making it vastly influential, effective, and far-reaching. Empowering innovation obviously is not an easy choice to make. I'm sure many of you guys are curious. How things evolve in the future? Does it benefit us? And where might they bring us in the future? To start off in the economic sense, as you guys already knew, our country's economic condition depends heavily on our industry, be it medical industry or manufacturing industry. In Industry 4.0, the organization and control of the industrial value chain represents a new stage and create a whole new revolutionized fourth industrial that adopts the industrial practices using state-of-the-art technologies. This latent development of brand new ideas, many people use their knowledge to start their own businesses. The government, on one hand, will benefit immensely from these businesses as taxes are divided. The tax monies will be educated and sustain the economy through industrial critical investment that will increase the productivity of the workers and hire more skilled laborers. In part, innovative ideas propel the acquisition of beneficial skill by the large part of the denizens that will culminate into life's prosperity and burgeoning economy. Medical industry since the last decade or so has suffered from the exasperatingly slow diffusion of medical knowledge. The acceptance of the new scientific discovery can take up to 17 years at most. The real concern here, however, is the generally small acceptance rate. According to National Library of Medicine, only 14% of new scientific discovery make their way into clinical practice. This is where profound medical knowledge and innovative creative come into place. These two elements will increase the chance of groundbreaking medicines to be found. And naturally, conglomerates will mass product those medicines. Right here, ladies and gentlemen, the domino effect will take place. Higher life expectancy, dramatic punch of mortality rate, and decades slow of death rates will soon transpire. For instance, we could take our current predicament, COVID-19 pandemic. Many doctors, scientists, and honorary others would put their heart and soul to find the decisive vaccine via modern technologies put together by sheer medical knowledge and innovative ideas. Secondly, the manufacturing industry is expected to grow in the next years. Nonetheless, every now and then, it is rather difficult for manufacturers to forecast future demand.
They do not have an advanced tools that could estimate their supplies for the next few years and afterwards. To lower risk, they order low supplies and consequently they suffer lower sales. In contrast, with an advanced tools, they could analyze their consumer's behavior, what kind of products they would interest them, and how many products they would buy at a certain time. Lastly, innovation leads to a sustainable future. Everyone wants it, but no one really knows what it looks like. The goal of a sustainable future is to meet the needs of today without compromising the needs of tomorrow. The best way to work for a sustainable future is by developing new technologies that use energy and resources that work at a rate sustainably without compromise the natural environment. In other words, green technologies. This advanced tool would help us to prevent pollution and gradually, if not lower the greenhouse effects. The benefit spillovers would fall to our agricultural industry. As fertile lands are not easily exhausted, more crops would easily harvest it. So, ladies and gentlemen, based upon my arguments and evidences laid out, in which I have carefully taken care of in choosing concrete, I vehemently assert that innovation is the best weapon out there and forevermore the effectual tool to contend with the industrial challenges therein. I'm Big Farrell and thank you for listening to my speech.